Volodymyr Zelensky, President of Ukraine, into the Volodymyr chamber. Zelensky walked into the chamber of the U.S. Congress to a standing ovation on Wednesday. The Ukrainian president was there to address a joint meeting of Senate and House lawmakers, hoping to persuade them to continue funding his country's defense against Russia. And he faced a critical audience, House Republicans who could hold up billions of dollars of war aid starting next month. Zelensky thanked Congress for their financial support, but stressed Ukraine would not be the only one to benefit. Your money is not charity. It's an investment in the global security and democracy that we handle in the most responsible way. He pointed out as his speech began that he was addressing Democrats and Republicans. Some House GOP lawmakers have voiced growing doubt about aid to Ukraine. Some hardline members have called to end it and for an audit to trace how it was spent. Zelensky invoked Germany's last offensive in World War II in appealing to Americans gathering with family for Christmas. Just like the brave American soldiers which held their lines and fought back Hitler's forces during the Christmas of 1944, brave Ukrainian soldiers are doing the same to Putin's forces this Christmas. Lawmakers on both sides frequently gave standing ovations. Zelensky later presented House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Vice President Kamala Harris with a battle-scarred Ukrainian flag signed by frontline soldiers. Pelosi in return presented Zelensky with a framed American flag. The speech was part of Zelensky's first foreign visit since the war began in February. It followed a meeting at the White House with President Joe Biden exactly 300 days after Russian troops invaded. And it was well-timed, with Congress on the verge of approving an extra $44.9 billion in emergency military and economic assistance. That's on top of some $50 billion already sent to Ukraine this year.